Yes, good evening, guys. To all of you, I welcome you all on this wonderful platform that is Baiju's Exam Prep. So, guys, today this is the last session of Theory of Machine in this wonderful series of Monsoon Crash Course. So, already I have taken your strength of material, then your fluid mechanics was over, then industrial was over. Now, this is Theory of Machines last class today. And guys, as usual, you know, Monday to Saturday we have class, Sunday we have test. So guys, tomorrow on Sunday, 6 p.m., we will be having a test at Baiju's exam prep app. And I will be sharing you the link on my Telegram channel and WhatsApp group for that session. And you know, top three students will be getting prize for the same. So guys, just like the session, share it with your friends so that other student can also reach to this session. So guys, today's topic is also very, very interesting and important. <coughs> Because every year, one question is coming from gear and gear train. So taking that into picture, I have uh, put it this session separately. Yes, Ashrit, Shubham, good evening, bhai. Hello, Teju. So we are starting the session without wasting any time, guys. And guys, this is some detail about me. I am having 10 plus years of experience in this field, written many research and review paper, and these are my areas of expertise. So guys, we have completed this. This is the last class of Tom. After that, other subject also will be coming in the same course. Okay, so let us start the session, guys. So, as you know, this monsoon crash course is going on at 6 p.m. This is the fixed time for this for mechanical. Okay, so Monday to Saturday classes are going on. Next subject will be your heat and mass transfer. On Sunday, uh, Rakesh Talreja sir would be taking this session on seven golden rules to secure single digit rank at 12:30 p.m. on the app only. And guys, without wasting the time, this is the very first question in front of you. This is the very first question in front of you. You can see the first question I have taken from reverted gear train. Okay. So this is from reverted gear train. Yes, Shubham, Ashrit. Okay. We are waiting for other students to join. So the question says in reverted gear train, gear A has 16 teeth. And drive B have drive uh, driven B have 64 teeth, C have 20 teeth, which is compounded with B. Drive the gear D, which is coaxial with A. If speed of D is 120 rpm, what is the speed of A? All the gears have equal module. This is given to us. Yes. So, guys, I am giving you a small figure also, which will give you a proper idea that we are having this as the driver okay this is the driver and okay i am making it again this is the driver so this is compound shaft okay and this is your driven gear and this is in that way things are going on so this is A, B, C and D. So power is going to be transmitted from A to B, then B to C, then C to D. Okay, this is the question guys. So try to solve this question. I won't answer from all of you guys. Try to solve it. I am waiting for the answer. Yes, Teju, everyone try to solve it guys. Try to solve it. Yes, guys. What would be the answer? Yes. Bolo bhai kya hoga answer? What would be the answer? Shubham, Ashrit, Teju. Am I unable to watch comments? Yes. Try solving it guys. For this session, you know, this is driver gear, this is driven gear. You know one thing, the center distance 
सेंटर डिस्टेंस बिटवीन ए एंड बी इज दिस वन एंड सेंटर डिस्टेंस बिटवीन सी एंड डी इज दिस वन एंड यू कैन सी दिस सेंटर डिस्टेंसिस आर इक्वल मिदुन वेलकम टू दिस सेशन गुड इवनिंग गौरव तिवारी ओके ही इज सेंग द आंसर इज वन फोर्टी फोर ओके वट अबाउट अदर्स वट अबाउट अदर्स आई एम गिविंग यू द हिंट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल माई डियर द नंबर ऑफ टीथ आर गिवन सिक्सटीन सिक्सटी फोर एंड ट्वेंटी सो दे आर सिक्सटीन सिक्सटी फोर एंड ट्वेंटी वी डोंट नो द नंबर ऑफ टीथ ऑन गियर नंबर डी ओके शुभम हैव सेट डी इज द आंसर सो गाइज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू विल बी फाइंडिंग आउट द नंबर ऑफ टीथ इन द डी For that, my dear, you can write the center distance between A and B is nothing but radius of A plus radius of B, which is going to be equals to radius of C plus radius of D. You know that module is defined as diameter by number of teeth. Diameter can be written as two times radius by number of teeth. So you can define radius as module times number of teeth divided by two. So you can write it as M A T A, M A T A by two. Plus M B T B by two is equals to M C T C by two plus M D T D by two. So my dear, this two 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 will get cancel out. It is mentioned that all have same module, so modules are also equal. So we are left with one wonderful and very easy equation where we can have T A plus T B is equals to T C plus T D. So, my dear, you know three teeths are given. Four, you need to find out. Okay, Sashank, fine. So, guys, whenever we will be putting these values, you know this is sixteen plus sixty-four. You will write it as sixteen plus sixty-four, and then the next is given as this is twenty given. So, twenty plus TD. So, first of all, number of teeth will be coming out to be. I feel this is a uh, sixty-four plus sixteen is eighty minus twenty is sixty. Are you getting the number of teeth to be sixty? Let me check. Yes, it is correct. Now, my dear, reverted gear train is a kind of compound gear train only. So, for compound gear train, we know that whenever we are defining the speed ratio, so speed ratio is defined as speed of driver to the speed of driven is equals to the number of teeth ka product of driven. If you see the figure, first is driving second. So, this is driver. and this is driven and here this is driver this is driven so my dear b and d are the driven so i will write tb into td ta into tc so you know my dear the speed is also mentioned in this question as they have written 120 rpm is the speed if the speed of d is 120 rpm what is the speed of a they are asking you the speed of a my dear so you will be putting the value na is unknown this is 120 is given number of teeth on b is 64 on d is 60 on a is 16 on c is 20 so this is 16 4 ja 23 ja it is coming out to be 12 times okay and d so you will be finding out na will be coming out to be One four four zero. Are you getting okay? So in that way, you can see C is the option. Very good. Is it clear, Shubham? You go to your mistake. Please tell me. Yes. Very good, Shashank. Very good, guys. So let us see the next question. This is question number two, guys. This is from epicyclic gear train. First one was from reverted. This is from epicyclic gear train. so this question is from epicyclic gear train so we are having around 19 questions today guys okay 19 questions very good teju bahut badhiya so guys this is question number 2 in the given epicyclic gear train s is fixed so they are saying this gear is fixed and they are saying find the number of revolutions made by p you need to find out the speed of p okay fine shubham so solve it so guys i am expecting every one of you should be joining tomorrow for the test on the app at 6 pm okay yes 
लास्ट टाइम इन द सोम क्विज ऑल द विनर्स आई फील गोट देयर प्राइजेस टिल नाउ एंड नेक्स्ट चांस इज देयर टुमोरो वंस अगेन लास्ट टाइम आई फील त्रिवेदी शुभम एंड निखिल वर द टॉपर्स ऑफ द क्विज so this time let us see who is going to win yes so guys this is question from epicyclic gear train you need to go for tabular method you will be using the tabular method this is the hint i am saying okay you need to solve it by your own try this you can go for algebraic also but tabular is better okay so Teju is saying B is the answer, means thirty-two. What about others? What about others? What about others? Yes. Yes, guys. ओके फाइन तेजू शुभम इज ऑल्सो सेइंग बी बहुत बढ़िया गाइस यू आर करेक्ट आंसर इज बी ओनली ओके सो इफ यू आर गोइंग टू अप्लाई फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस इज गियर एस गियर पी एंड आर्म सो यू विल राइट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आर्म आई विल बी मेकिंग द टेबल इन शॉर्ट एन एस एन पी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू विल बी गिविंग जीरो रोटेशन टू आर्म प्लस वन to ns and minus ts by tp to planet this will be given zero then this is given plus x it is minus x ts by tp then you will be adding the revolution to the arm plus y plus x this is plus y minus x ts by tp so you know that x plus y is given as zero because s is the fixed gear so as s is the fixed gear you will be saying yes chaman midun very good guys so dear when you will be solving this y plus x to be zero you will be getting y is equals to minus x okay so my dear this is the way you can find out y is equals to minus x now you will apply find out p it is minus x minus x into ts by tp now my dear sun and planet number of teeth are given to us sun 120 this is 40 120 and 40 so put the value 120 and 40 okay so guys one more data is also mentioned here that r makes a eight revolution so y value is also given as eight to us Good afternoon, boy Chaman. How are you? You came after so many days. So how are you? If possible, talk to me after the class. Also, okay. So when you will be putting this value, you will be getting the answer to be B. Thirty-two is the correct answer. B is the correct answer. Yes, Shubham, you can go by relative velocity approach also. No doubt about that. You can apply N S minus N R. N P minus N R is equals to minus T P by T S. If you will apply that, you know N S is given as zero minus eight. N P you need to find out minus zero. Sorry, minus eight. Then minus T P is forty by one twenty. When you will apply this, N P will be coming out to be thirty two. Both are right way. You can go with any of the method. ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सर दिस टाइम वी डोंट हैव एनी क्वेश्चन ऑफ क्लास दिस टाइम इट विल नॉट बी बट क्वेश्चंस विल बी सिमिलर फॉर श्योर सेम नहीं होंगे सिमिलर होंगे ओके यस फाइन फाइन गाइस सो गाइस जस्ट लाइक एंड शेयर द सेशंस दिस इज द लास्ट सेशन ऑफ टॉम after this we will be meeting for production technology okay that will be coming after hmt and thermal part now okay so hmt we would be having in the first week of august sorry production we will be having in the first week of august now and at that time uh,
we may have the classes per day one topic will be covered one day for welding other day for casting other day for metal forming likewise in seven days we will cover the seven topics okay so production will be coming in first week of august so guys this is an planetary gearbox you can see in the cycloidal train shown in the figure the ring gear r is fixed so you can write n r is zero the wheel s rotates at 300 rpm in clockwise direction then the arm is connected to output shaft so you need to find out yes is it clear shubham have given the answer very good so shubham is saying the answer to be b so you need to find out actually the arm speed you need to find out the arm speed okay teju very good so shubham and teju have given the answer as b what about others midun chaman shankar yes i feel today bhavya is not there solve it guys shashank very good you are going very nicely shashank also said b so guys this time you will be making the table for arm first then for sun planet and ring so you know for r when it is 0 plus 1 for sun minus ts by tp for planet minus ts by tr for ring then it is once again 0 plus x minus x ts by tp minus x ts by tr then we will say r rotation is y y minus x ts by tp it is y minus x ts by tr okay very good midun bahut hi badhiya yes the similar questions are coming in gate guys so now you need to see what are the things given they are saying ring gear is zero put it zero the second data they have given is that s is rotating at 300 rpm in clockwise let us assume clockwise to be positive so for sun it is going to be clockwise so this is 300 clockwise so this is equation 1 this is equation 2 number of teeth are already given you can find out the value of x and y very good ramesh mohan and y will be coming out to be plus 100 so it means 100 rpm clockwise is the answer okay this is how we can solve it bahut badhiya guys very good ashrit bahut badhiya next question is question number 4 guys two identical involutes per gear are in mesh the module is 4 mm each gear has 22 teeth if the operating pressure angle is 20 degree the minimum value of addendum needed to ensure continuous transmission of motion is this is a wonderful question my dear and for this question i will definitely be giving you the hint you know that continuous transmission of motion happens when contact ratio is coming out to be more than equals to 1 contact ratio whenever you are talking about is you know that contact ratio is arc of contact arc of contact by circular pitch so you need to do this and this will give you the answer for addendum this is a slightly lengthy question try to solve this these are the options for you i feel you guys remember uh, the formula for the same okay 
सो बोथ द गियर्स आर सेम सो पाथ ऑफ कॉन्टेक्ट और आर्क ऑफ कॉन्टेक्ट विल बी इक्वल फॉर बोथ ओके सो यू जस्ट नीड टू अप्लाई द फॉर्मूला आई एम टेलिंग यू द फॉर्मूला आर्क ऑफ कॉन्टेक्ट इज गिवन एज पाथ ऑफ कॉन्टेक्ट बाय कोस फाइव फाइव इज प्रेशर एंगल नाउ पाथ ऑफ कॉन्टेक्ट इज पाथ ऑफ अप्रोच प्लस पाथ ऑफ रिसेस ओके सो पाथ ऑफ अप्रोच एंड पाथ ऑफ रिसेस विल बी रिटर्न एज दिस इज आर ए स्क्वेयर माइनस आर स्क्वेयर को स्क्वेयर फाइव माइनस आर साइन फाइव इज दिस द फॉर्मूला यस दिस शुड बी कैपिटल ओनली नॉट स्मॉल ओके दिस इज गोइंग टू बी सेम दे आर सेम एक्चुअली two times of this they will become why because number of teeth are same gears are identical everything is same so solve this question what would be the answer guys solve it what would be the answer guys slightly lengthy some calculations are required and what is circular pitch circular pitch is pi d by t d by t is module okay so you just need to put the values nothing more than that solve it guys solve it इट इज अ वंडरफुल क्वेश्चन बहुत ही प्यारा क्वेश्चन है ये राइट नाउ वी आर एट क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर गाइस ओके सो स्टिल वी आर लेफ्ट विथ फिफ्टीन मोर क्वेश्चन फॉर टूडे सोल्व इट सोल्व इट सोल्व इट गाइस solve it solve it solve it this is given already that number of teeth are 22 module is 4 mm so d by t is given to you okay shubham is saying the answer is d bahut badhiya bahut hi badhiya shubham bahut badhiya so this is a wonderful question if you are capable of solving this type of question i can definitely expect a very good result from your side yes teju shashank ramesh mon midun all the hints are there on the board you just need to do calculations now yes wonderful guys you know r a can be written as r plus addendum and that is what you need to find out okay so guys when you will be putting all these values in this r is known to us five what is r actually you know that module is 2 r by t number of teeth are known module is known so r is nothing but mt by 2 so guys r is known to us phi is known to us phi is known to us only ra is unknown first you will try to find out ra so when you will be finding out the value of ra like shubham is saying ra will be coming out to be more than equals to 
46.35 okay then my dear you know r is equals to mt by 2 number of teeth are 22 module is i feel 5 hai na it is 5 module is 4 okay so module is 4 4 cross 22 divided by 2 it will be coming out to be 44 mm so my dear now you can say r plus addendum should be more than 46.35 mm so 44 plus addendum will be more than equals to 46.35 so addendum would be more than equals to 2.35 mm okay so the answer is going to be 2.35 d is the correct answer guys okay fine guys so this is how we are going to solve this question make it five star problem guys for exam try to add this into your notes next question is question number five this question says consider a gear set to have a velocity ratio of 4 is to 1 pinion dia 80 mm how the pitch diameter of the pinion is reduced by 10 mm find the overall reduction in the space yes so we have seen some very good question now there are some easy questions okay so whatever this type of question they can come in one mark this question can come in one mark yes solve it guys actually in this question they are saying that the diameter of pinion is reduced by 10 mm you need to find out Find out the overall reduction in space. Overall reduction in space. Overall reduction is nothing but change of diameter of pinion, change of diameter of gear. What is the answer? Yes. Okay, Midun is saying C for this. Ramesh Mohan is also saying the same. Very good guys. So guys do like and share the session. Shubham is saying C. Very good. So guys the answer for this is C no doubt about that. So you will say overall reduction is delta dp which is 10. You know that gear ratio, velocity ratio is given as 4 is to 1. So if that is reduced by 10 mm, that would be reduced by 40 mm. So it is going to be total of 50 mm. The answer is C for this. Question number 6. Very good Pawan, Shashank, Shubham, Bhauti Badia. Very good. So the following data relate to two meshing gears. This is velocity ratio, module, pressure angle, center distance. You need to find out the base circle radius of the gear. Base circle radius of the gear. Yes. Find out. Solve this question guys. This is question number 6. We are left with 13 more questions after this. So after this one third questions are over. This session will go up to 7.15 today. Okay, It will be completed soon. Very good, very good. So Shashank, Pawan, Shubham, Ramesh Mohan, Midun, Teju, what would be the answer guys?
Yes. करिए भाई सोल्व करिए ओके डियर बेस सर्कल रेडियस इज आर कोस फाइव एंड सेंटर डिस्टेंस मींस आर पीनियन प्लस आर गियर this is center distance you can also write it as m number of teeth number of teeth as 200 so module is known to us you will be getting zp plus zg 200 into 2 divided by module equation number 1 zp by zg 1 by 3 equation number 2 solving them find out the number of teeth first hai na and then you know that if you want to find out the base circle radius of gear it will be rg cos phi rg means m zg by 2 cos phi this is the hint for the question ramesh mohan saying b midun is saying b ओके व्हाट अबाउट अदर्स गाइस पवन शशांक एंड शुभम एंड तेजू व्हाट अबाउट यू गाइस ओके रमेश मोन इज सेइंग द नंबर ऑफ टीथ ऑन गियर आर सेवेंटी फाइव ओके दिस इज करेक्ट द नंबर ऑफ टीथ ऑन पीनियन विल बी कमिंग आउट टू बी ट्वेंटी फाइव द नंबर ऑफ टीथ ऑन गियर विल बी कमिंग आउट टू बी सेवेंटी फाइव it is correct very good pavan kalyan so the answer for this is yes 141 mm b is correct very good guys bahut hi badhiya moving to question number 7 this is one mark question this type of question also have been appeared in gate exam if i am correct it, it was asked in 2003 fine pawan it's great okay so velocity ratio of 50 very good shubham pawan ashrit have already answered पाइन मिदुन वॉट अबाउट अदर्स वेरी गुड शशांक चमन बहुत बढ़िया वेरी गुड रमीश मोहन तेजू सो गाइज यू नो दैट वेन एवर द स्पीड रेशो इज मोर देन टेन इज टू वन then we have two options either to go with gear trains or to go with worm and worm wheel so here gear trains are not in option so we will go for worm and worm wheel worm and worm wheel started reduc starting reduction ratio are 40 is to 1 you can go up to 1900 or 2000 is to one also. That kind of ratios are possible with worm and worm wheel. Yes, Abdul, you also came after so many days. Where are you these days, dear? How's your preparation going on? This is the question where you need to find out minimum number of teeth for involute rack for an angle of 20 degree pressure angle. Yes. what would be the answer for this guys this is from the minimum number of teeth so minimum number of teeth for pinion 
टू टाइम्स ऑफ ए पी डिवाइडेड बाई कोस स्क्वेयर फाइव और साइन स्क्वेयर फाइव इट वॉज साइन स्क्वेयर फाइव एंड यू नो फ्रैक्शनल एडेंडम विल बी वन हेयर बिकॉज इट इज नॉट मैंशन दैट टीट्स आर स्टब्ड so just you need to apply the formula and get the answer very easily shubham is saying a abdul teju ramesh mon chaman shashank midun ashrit pawan what about you guys and guys do like and share the session still more than 12 questions sorry 11 questions are there teju is saying a very good what about others midun is saying a okay pawan is also saying a ashrit is also saying a so guys when you will be making the calculations for the minimum number of teeth for this case this is 2 times of 1 by sin square 20 this will be coming out to be 17.91 or 97 the answer is 18 for this question number 19 path of contact in case of cycloidal tooth profile is path of contact for cycloidal tooth profile is okay chaman is saying a Yes, Ramesh Mohan, Shashank, Pawan, Midun, Ashrit, Teju, Abdul. Midun is saying C. What about others? Yes. Okay. Ramesh Mohan is also saying A. So, guys, the answer for this is A. Path of contact in case of cycloidal tooth profile is coming as a circle only. Whenever you are talking about cycloidal, it is defined like whenever on a flat surface, a circle is having some motion of pure rolling, then the point, any point on the circle. if we take the locus of this okay that will give you the cycloid so answer for this is circle guys question number 10 very good guys bahut badhiya question number 10 now the maximum length of arc of contact for two mating gears in order to avoid interference in order to avoid interference what is the maximum length of arc of contact yes yes guys so i am giving you the hint that it is maximum length of arc of contact you need to find out you know arc of contact is path of contact by cos phi okay you very well knows if we are going to make this as pitch circle this as pitch circle there will be some base circle some base circle so if you take some center here some center here this center distance is r plus r but you know the path of contact maximum will be starting from this point to this point this is the maximum where this angle is phi this angle is phi okay and my dear 
दिस इज आर बी एक्चुअली यस सो दिस इज आर ट्राई सॉल्विंग दिस ओके चमन वट अबाउट क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन ओके सो शुभम इज सेइंग ए शशांक इज सेइंग ए पवन इज सेइंग ए बहुत ही बढ़िया गाइस इसको बोलते हैं समा बांधना यस वंडरफुल सो गाइस आई वुड लाइक टू से वन थिंग दैट इफ दिस इज गोइंग टू बी आर दिस इज बेस सर्कल रेडियस आर कोस फाइव दिस इज आर साइन फाइव सो दिस इज आर साइन फाइव एंड दिस इज सिमिलरली कैपिटल आर साइन फाइव सो दिस टोटल इज द मैक्सिमम लेंथ ऑफ आर्क ऑफ कॉन्टेक्ट सो इट इज आर प्लस कैपिटल आर इंटू साइन फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय कोस फाइव सो द आंसर इज आर प्लस आर टेंजेंट फाइव ए इज द आंसर बहुत ही बढ़िया गाइस बहुत ही बढ़िया वंडरफुल क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन गाइस सो गाइस डू लाइक एंड शेयर द सेशन वी आर हैविंग वंडरफुल प्रॉब्लम्स एंड दे आर वेरी मच इक्वल एंड टू गेट लेवल गाइस ओके टुडे आई हैव नॉट केप्ट वेरी डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन लाइक आई वाज ऑलवेज हैविंग सब स्टूडेंट्स गेट डीमोटिवेटेड सो इन द लास्ट सेशन आई हैव मोटिवेटिंग यू ऑल्सो द लेवल ऑफ गेट वुड बी दिस ओनली बट वेन वी गो स्लाइटली अहेड द लेवल it advantage it it gives advantage to us okay when we have already seen difficult question in gate if they come we feel very easy for them so okay solve this one now the number of teeth on each of the two equals per gear in mesh is 40 the teeth have 20 degree involute profile and module is 6 mm what is the length of path of contact the length of arc of contact is 1.7 times the circular pitch so arc of contact is 1.75 times the circular pitch this is given to us and you know path of contact by cos phi is arc of contact so you just directly equate these two you will get the answer directly equate these two you will get the answer because number of teeth are 40 module is 6 so you know that circular pitch is m is d by t into pi this is circular pitch yes shubham and ramesh mon are saying b Very good, Gajodhar. Gajodhar is saying thirty-one. Very good. So Shubham, Gajodhar, and Pawan have answered it as B. Very nice. Very nice, guys. So the answer for this will be yes. Teju is also saying B. So you know path of contact. You need to find out. path of contact 1.75 into module into pi into cos phi b is the answer very good midun bahut hi badhiya guys bahut hi badhiya question number 12 now question number 12 now yes so reduction gear supported on bearing on either side transmit power of 90 kilowatt so power is 90 kilowatt the pinion has a pitch circle diameter of 180 mm rotates at 600 rpm so guys when you know n is 600 rpm you know power is torque into omega 
यू विल गेट टोर्क टोर्क इज एफ टी इन टू आर यू विल गेट एफ टी एंड यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट एक्चुअली वट इज द मैक्सिमम फोर्स अप्लाइड यू नो फोर्स अप्लाइड इज एफ टी बाय कोस फाइव सोल्व इट एंड गेट द आंसर आई फील एवरी वन वुड बी हैविंग द आइडिया ऑफ दिस If you don't have idea, I am telling you. If this is the gear, this is the pitch circle. So there are actually net forces coming like this. It have two component. One is F T, other is F R. This angle is phi. So F net is F T by cos phi. F T is responsible for rotation. So torque is F T into R. So all the formulas are there in the slide. Just solve it and get the answer, guys. Question number twelve, it is. Okay, Shubham is saying A to be the answer. यस मिदुन तेजु पवन गजोधर रमीश मोहन शुभम शशांक चमन तेजु सिंह ए वेरी गुड वेरी गुड गाइस Yes, very good. So, guys, when you will be solving this, I am telling you, torque will be coming out to be one four three three point one four three three point one two newton meter. F T will be coming out to be fifteen point nine two three kilo newton. And F net will be coming out to be sixteen point nine four kilonewton. A is the right answer. Yes, Nikhil. Namaskar. Bhai, late ho gaya aaj ap. Question number thirteen, guys. Question number thirteen. Question number thirteen. The velocity ratio of two per gear in mesh is zero point four. So number of teeth in pinion but a gear. Center distance between two gears. This is seventy five mm. This is radius of both. So you can write R P plus R G. Seventy-five R is module times teeth. M T P by two plus M T G by two. So there are two equations. Find out T P and T G. Okay, Nikhil, that's fine. How was your paper? How was the exam? Yes, wonderful guys. Solve it, solve it. This is question number thirteen, guys. Shubham is saying A, very good. Fine, that's great, Nikhil. So Pawan is saying A, Shubham is also saying A. So guys, the answer for this will be coming as A only. T G is ninety. T 
TP is 36. A is correct. Very good. So guys, now we are moving to question number 14. Very good Teju, very good Chaman, so this question is a spur gear has 30 teeth, module of 1.4 rotates at 360 rpm, what is pitch line velocity? So my dear you need to find out the pitch line velocity, which is R omega. Okay, just solve it and get the answer for this. R can be written as mt by 2. Omega is 2 pi n by 60. Very easy question. So, we are looking at all the types of problems today. Easy, difficult. Shubham is saying B, what about others? Yes, Chaman, Teju, okay, Pawan is also saying B to be the answer. Yes. So, Shubham, Pawan and Teju, what about others? Midun, very good. So, you will be finding out this pitch line velocity to be 0 0.79 meter per second. So, the answer is B for this. Actually, I am covering all the types. This was the motive of this session to cover all the types. Whether it is easy or difficult, I have covered everything. Now, this is compound gear train. We have done question on, sorry, this is simple gear train. We have done question on reverted gear train. What is reverted gear train? A type of compound gear train. So, compound and reverted are covered. We have done one question on epicyclic. We have done question on planetary. So, all gear trains are covered. Then we have seen the question on path of contact, arc of contact, velocity ratio, and on contact ratio. So, everything is covered. Now, just now we have seen pitch line velocity. Now, we were left with only simple gear train. So, this question is from simple gear train. So, in this session rather than repeating the type, I have done all the types coverage. Okay. So, what would be the answer for question number 15 and after that we are left with 3 to 4 more questions. So, this session will be over by 7, 10 or 7, 15, not more than that. Today only one topic was there. Generally, we are having 2, 3 topics every day. So, today only gears. Shubham is saying D to be the answer. So guys, first of all, you can see this is rotating clockwise. For that, this is rotating anti-clockwise. For that, this is rotating clockwise. So first of all, anti-clockwise cannot be the answer. Either A or D will be the answer. That is for sure. Now you know the speed ratio concept. This is driver, this is driven. For simple gear train, this is intermediate gear. It will act like idler. So if it is act like idler, you can also consider them a set of gears only. So you will be getting my dear N1 by N3, T3 by T1. So, you are given the speed for this, you need to find out for this. So, 1000 by N3, it is going to be 80 by 40. The answer will be 500 RPM clockwise. D is correct for this. Bahati badiya guys. Question number 16 now. This question is once again from planetary gear train or epicyclic gear train you can say. Wonderful guys. An arm of an epicyclic gear train carries two gears one and two with 40 and 50 teeth. 
if gear 1 is fixed arm rotates at 160 rpm anti clockwise about the center speed and sense of gear 2 will be try to solve it by tabular method or algebraic method it's totally your choice okay you can take gear 1 gear 2 arm this is epicyclic gear train Solve it guys. So after this we have two more questions and both of them are good ones. Both are good questions. Hai. Nikhil is saying B. Okay. So an arm of an epicyclic gear train carries two gears. One and two. This is 40 teeth, 50 teeth. Gear 1 is fixed. Arm rotates at 160. Okay, you will write N1 minus N arm. N2 minus N arm. Minus T2 by T1. So N1 is 0. Minus 160 rpm anti clockwise. You need to find out the N2. Minus of minus 160. Minus 50 by 40. The answer is coming out to be 288 rpm anti clockwise. Okay. Very good, guys. So I feel now people are enjoying with algebraic method. Yes or no? It is easier, simple. Are haan ki na? Maza aara hai? Question number 17, guys. Question number 17. This is epicyclic gear train. Actually, it is planetary gear train. The annular gear has pitch circle diameter of 425 mm. And module is 5 mm. First of all, I would like to tell you one thing. That if you are talking about this radius of annular gear. So, radius of annular gear can be written as radius of 1 plus 2 times radius of 2. This is going to be an equation which is going to help you if you have any unknown. Rest all the things are given. Yes, Shubhadeep. Welcome to this session. Yes, guys. Solve this question now. Question number 17, second last for today. You can go with the tabular method because it is planetary gear train. Go for tabular method for this planetary gear train question. All the planets are same. So Nikhil is saying the answer to be C. Very good, Nikhil. What about others? What about others? So, guys, do like and share the session as well. Teju is also saying C. Very good. Very good. Pavan Kalyan is saying C, Bodh Badiya. Very good. So let us see. First of all, you will make the table. Arm, Sun, Planet, 
रिंग हेयर जीरो दिस टाइम आई एम डायरेक्टली राइटिंग प्लस एक्स माइनस एक्स टी एस बाई टी पी माइनस एक्स टी एस बाई टी आर देन प्लस वाई एक्स प्लस वाई वाई माइनस एक्स टी एस बाई टी पी वाई माइनस एक्स टी एस बाई टी आर what are the other things given they are saying that when annular gear is stationary means this is equals to zero then spindle a makes one revolution in the same sense spindle a means arm so guys you will say arm arm okay so arm is one this is plus one y value is plus 1 then they are saying that as sun gear 1 for every 6 revolution of driving spindle carrying the sun gear if all the planet gears are of same size the number of teeth on all the gears are very good shubham so you will be finding out the number of teeth and the answer will be coming out for this is c because the speeds first of all you will find out then only the number of teeth will be coming okay so this is a double type double question where number of first of all you will find out the speed then you will be finding out the number of teeth because number of teeth are unknown actually this time so when you will be finding out this do you want me to uh, give the calculations so i am telling you first of all you will be getting by putting it to be zero so y is equals to x ts by tr so ts by tr into x is coming out to be 1 y is 1 okay then second equation you also have been given uh, the sun rotation as 6 okay so by putting this you will be finding out all the number of teeth now and the answer will be coming out to be c 17 34 and 85 great shubham so this is the last question for today guys last question for today as today only one topic was there so we are able to complete it soon otherwise our session is going till 7:30 all the days so guys tomorrow remember 6 pm we have the quiz of tom okay on the app so two gears a and b of an epicyclic gear train have 30 and 40 teeth respectively the arm a rotating about the center at a speed of 80 rpm anti clockwise what will be the change in speed of b if gear a revolves 240 rpm clockwise instead of being fixed two conditions are given and they are asking you the change of speed this is also a very good question so we have covered all the types in a nice manner go for algebraic method you will write na minus an arm nb minus an arm minus tb by ta use this equation for the first case find out nb value then find out nb for the second condition and find out the differences between two speeds first condition is what will be the change in speed of the gear b if gear a revolves at 140 rpm clockwise instead of being fixed so in case 1 take na to be 0 and an arm to be minus 80 in case 2 take na to be plus 240 and an arm to be minus 80 find out nb for both the case and then take the difference of that pavan is saying the answer to be b okay what about others
शुभम निखिल तेजु शशांक गजोधर यस सोलविट गाइस सो फॉर द फर्स्ट केस फॉर द फर्स्ट केस यू विल बी गेटिंग इट एस 140 फोर्टी आरपीएम फॉर द सेकेंड केस इट विल बी थ्री ट्वेंटी आरपीएम यू कैन सी देर इज एन इंक्रीमेंट ऑफ वन एटी आरपीएम सो द आंसर इज ए फॉर दिस answer is a for this so this was a very very good question guys so i have covered all the types related to gears today so this was the last session for theory of machines tomorrow is the test on the byju's exam prep app i will be sharing the link of the test in the telegram channel don't miss it tomorrow 6 pm join the test and as i already told you this is the term subject going to an end but don't worry we will be meeting for next subject obviously so from monday onward you will see hmt then next week thermal okay and after that i will be coming with production and after production we will go for md and engineering mechanics also so goodbye guys for this session thanks for joining and do like and share the session before you leave share it with your friends also guys because every day we are coming with new questions for you so at least you can use those question for your preparation because you are getting them with solution pdf will also be shared to you on the telegram channel okay so goodbye guys once again if you have not joined the telegram channel the name is mechanical by dheeraj sardana this is the name of telegram channel okay so just join it and goodbye for the session thanks for joining